bless up, bless up. Man, I'm emotional uh, right now, y'all. Um, all I can say is, wow, man, I'm just, just truly grateful um, to be in a position that I'm in to help people in a way at this level of helping people, man. Um, many of you who know me know I've been doing this work for a long time. This change agent piece, this, this um, you know, fighting for equity before I was actually using the word equity, um, fighting for the underdog, right? Um, fighting for resources for the people, you dig? And um, many of you that know me now know I also uh, recently collaborated and started a nonprofit called Operation Gateway, which is set out to decrease recidivism by addressing the social determinants of health of the returning citizens. And um, that's the mission of Operation Gateway, leveraging lived experience by way of uh, community health workers. It's a, an amazing, powerful uh, credential that is going to be integral to uh, dismantling uh, systemic racism and decreasing uh, uh, recidivism. But with Operation Gateway, with me being in that role, I'm an executive director. Follow me, follow me. I'm an executive director, right? It finally happened. Other people call it, said it was going to happen. Like my board service, I can remember talking with Vicki Meath being on the, uh, you know, I'm the chair of the board of Just Economics and just watching her and how she moves, watching Pastor Woods um, from Western Carolina Rescue Mission and how he how he moves, watching uh, Brian Combs at, at first uh, at Haywood Street Congregation, um, just watching how he moves and how those who follow his lead trust him, you know, um, just watching Celeste, people like that, you know what I'm saying, these executive directors that um, I have close proximity to on the regular, um, watching how they move and them speaking it into existence for me. But anyway, let me get to it, let me get to it. So with me being an executive director, one of the things I get to do, let's go, let's go, let's go. I sign checks. And today I got emotional. I got emotional as I was as I was writing this this stipend check for one of the the peer supports that just completed training last week at Blue Ridge Community College. Shout out to Terry Spears and the Recovery Can Happen uh, curriculum she brought up here to get some people trained up here in Asheville. No, uh, actually she did the training in Hendersonville. But Voices of Appalachia has the resources to be able to get trainings to the folks that hadn't been able to get them. You dig and um. And one of the things that I was able to do for people who were justice involved, formerly incarcerated, was I was able to provide a stipend for their time. Because you see, if you don't work for an organization that's paying you to go to this training, then you off the clock. You missing money. So how do you address equity? How do you address inequities by investments and this stipend that we're able to provide the formerly incarcerated folks while they was in the training that touches my heart? And I was sitting here, y'all. I was sitting here. And and I was writing a check out because I know this person uh, right here coming out of Rutherford County. I know for a fact what uh, uh, position they're in right now and, and them taking this training, you know, and when I told them about the stipend, just how thankful and grateful they were, like it blew my mind just being able to do this work. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for choosing me to do this work, you know, and it don't feel like work. It's a blessing to get to do this, man. This blesses my spirit. But I was writing that check, man. I was writing it out. You know how when you write out the number, like you write the check and everything, and then you write out the number in cursive. Yeah, I know how to write it cursive. <laughs> but I was writing that check out, man, and it just hit me like, wow. And I reached out and I said thank you to Christy Puckett Williams, who was integral in me getting those resources. And shout out to Daniel Bowes because, you know, we we – we got blessed. We Operation Gateway got blessed by Smart Justice and the ACLU. You feel me? We got blessed with these resources to provide a stipend. That's how you address inequities, y'all. This is tactic. This is this is this ain't just theory. This is practice. Like Alan Iverson say, talking about practice. Yeah. And I'm blessed to get to write that check, man. I had to do this video. I hadn't put anything up on my uh, YouTube channel in a while. But I had to do this video just saying thank you again to the ACLU for providing these resources to be able to provide a stipend to people so that they can access the peer support specialist training, which is not easily accessible these days, you know, and for the ones that are typically accessible, they're not affordable. And I was able to address that by way of partnership, partnering with purpose, as my friends with Dogwood would say, partnering with purpose, you dig. 
Wow, super duper blessed, y'all. But yeah, man, my name is Shane J.J. Cooper, and I'm not the answer, but I'm a damn sure the alternative. Like this channel, subscribe to this channel. I'm going to try to keep this content coming as much as I can when I got time. Just sitting in the home office tonight and was writing this check, and I was like, let me get it up there. Let me get it up there. <laughs> Bless up.